So for those children who have been referred to an ENT, you know, this is their first time going to an ENT, what are some things that parents can do to get the most out of that visit, make it productive? You know, I would say, and it's probably not just going to any, um, you know, ear, nose, and throat doctor, it's going to any doctor. When you go to the visit, you want to have some idea, not only of the reason that you're going, um, but of things that you've tried um, and failed. And so oftentimes, when patients come to the office, it can be overwhelming for parents to try to remember everything that their pediatrician has recommended or tried. Um, so if beforehand you can sit down and look at a list of um, medications that have helped um, and then medications that haven't helped, or if you can recall obvious um, things that seem to provoke the symptoms that you're there for. So if you're there for a cough, things like is it worse at nighttime, worse with activity, worse when they're around animals or, or family pets. The more detailed information that we can get is very helpful because we know that even though the primary patient is the child, children can't oftentimes communicate in detail the things that we want to know. And so I would just say being thorough in terms of what's been done uh, before, what they've talked about being done, um, and then any small detail can actually be a big benefit to us. Great. Um, do you have any other advice for parents today? You know, um, what I would say is receiving a diagnosis or contemplating a diagnosis of asthma in your child can be seemingly overwhelming. Um, there are so many good resources like livingwithasthma.net uh, that are out there. And the more informed you are, just like I said before, a comprehensive approach, a team approach, including the parent and the patient, um, is probably the best thing that you can do. So make sure that, you know, you keep your regular checkups with your, your pediatrician, your, your allergist, or your pulmonologist um, as a method of disease prevention, you know, not just dealing with what's now, but progression in the future and things of that nature. Know your children's triggers, um, and then know what your action plan is if there's an exacerbation and how to handle it. Thanks so much for being with us today, Dr. Yao. If people today want to keep up with you or ENT and allergy, um, what's the best way for them to keep up with you? Probably the best way um, would be our website, and you can go to www.entandallergy.com. Great. Thanks so much. Thanks, Lisa. Good to talk to you.